Costa. My name is RJ West, Mr. West to all of the kids here. I teach fourth grade. I'm the long-term substitute for fourth grade here at South Fayette Intermediate School. This is my first year in fourth grade. I originally went to college at Slippery Rock. I graduated with a degree in secondary social studies. So I'm used to teaching seventh through 12th graders. And I was at the middle school last year and the year before. And I taught sixth grade social studies for a long-term substitute position. So being down here, it's definitely a change, but I like it down here. So, and it's a great school. There's the administration is great. All the supporting teachers are great. So I enjoy it and the kids are good too. There's never a dull moment in fourth grade. Something about myself, like I said, I went to Slippery Rock. I graduated in 2018 uh, with a degree in social studies. I also have a son, he's three years old. His name is Romare. Uh, he's great, three's a rough age right now. Sometimes he calls me by my first name, so that's rough. But he's just a great kid to be around, he's fun. I have a fiance, I love her a lot. Her name's Dominique, and she's about to graduate from Duquesne with her master's, I think, in finance. And she's gonna be a CFP. So I have six brothers, two brothers at home. Some of the hobbies that I do, I coach basketball at Quaker Valley. So I'm a JV coach at Quaker Valley. We just won section Tuesday. So if we win Friday, we win the whole section. We don't have to tire anything. So that's what I love to do. That takes up most of my time. And then when I have free time, I like to play basketball. I like to play sports and stay active and just do things sports related. And I like to read, but I can't read as much, so I have Audible, I have my headphones in when I'm driving or I'm listening to books or doing things like that. Growing up, I looked up to my grandfather a lot, so I didn't really have my birth father in my life because he passed away when I was three months old. I looked up to my grandfather and my stepfather a lot in my life. My stepfather was really good at basketball and really good at sports, so in the community, I grew up in Coriopolis, it's a small community, and he was like the big time basketball player out of there, so everyone's saying that was my dad. I looked up to him and he's like 6'6", six, six. and so of course I looked up to him. And my grandfather, I spent a whole lot of time with him and he was just a hard worker. He instilled everything, a lot of values into me. And I also looked up to a teacher. He was a teacher, he was the first black teacher I ever had when I transferred to Quaker Valley my junior year. And his name was Mr. Pipkins. And it's ironic, he's now about to be related to me because he is my fiance's, he's, he's married to my fiance's cousin. So I looked up to him a lot. I don't think he knows how much I looked up to him, but just seeing a black face when I went to school was different and a male figure. And it helped that he was the Whippeals all time leading scorer in basketball, but the kid last week just passed him up. But yeah, I looked up to him a lot, just seeing him and he just was everything. He walked around school, he had his chain on and everything. So I looked up to Mr. Pipkins a lot high schoolers, I would say to enjoy it and cherish it because time flies by. It's about to be like 10 years since I've been out of high school and it, time after high school just flies. It just feels like yesterday you're in high school. And another big piece of advice I would say is to utilize your resources. Back when I was in high school, I didn't utilize my resources the way I should have, but your teachers are here to help you. And if they're not, just make them do their job while they're there. And, and just have fun with your friends, make the most of it because you only get one senior year and there's nothing like your senior year of high school where you get to be with your friends that you grew up with. So just cherish every single moment of high school. I know when you're senior, you're just kind of fed up and ready to go to college and everything. But just enjoy it, enjoy your friends because you're gonna look back sometimes like, dang, I went, wish I would've went to school that day. So just enjoy every single moment of your senior year. And then for freshmen and underclassmen, your time is coming, but just enjoy it while you're there and just do the best that you can. Black History Month means a lot to me. And uh, I say it means to me that we get to celebrate people that often are overlooked in our in society. So when I say that, I say when most people think of black people, they think of music, entertainment, and sports. But like in my class right now, I'm making the kids uh, look up inventors, things that are off, people that are often overlooked. So it's a time to celebrate those people that are often overlooked, civil rights people, and even people such as yourself that are doing great things in the community. So. That's why it's very important to me, so we can celebrate. Okay, so now I'm just gonna ask you a couple fast, this or that questions. So, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. Paper book or audio book? Audio book. Netflix or HBO? Mm, Netflix. <laughs> Tea or coffee? Tea. Jordan or LeBron? LeBron. <laughs> TLC or Destiny's Child? Destiny's Child, Beyonce. <laughs> Marvel or DC? Marvel. Nike or Adidas? Nike. <laughs> favorite movie? My favorite movie is definitely The Lion King. And then favorite actor or actress? Denzel, the goat. Awesome. 
Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>